It is a historic and bittersweet day here at WCBI TV. Our longtime Sunrise anchor, former sports guy, and midday co host Bill Gamble is retiring. Thank you for joining us today for our final send off. A couple of weeks ago, Bill sat down with former midday host Jeffrey Rupp at the guest room in Starkville to talk about Bill's four decades in the news business. Here's a look at some of that conversation. Then we are going to talk to Bill, I promise. When I started, I worked at, uh, well, I started in radio in 73. And I worked there for a year, and they opened up a new TV station in Selma. And so I went to work there, and my GM there was a guy named Tommy Bond. And after, I don't know, seven or eight years, he came to WCBI and became GM here. But after he'd been here for, I don't know, several months, he called me and asked me if I wanted to come work for him again here. And at the time, I was behind the scenes directing the news. So he had an opening for a director. At WCBI, so that's how I came here. I got out of the business for about five years. I worked at, at CBI from 80 to 81, and, uh, and then I was going to get back in it. So you I came were at over. You Chippendale, and then yeah, exactly. I'm off to be at Chippendale. And, uh, and I got too old for that, so <laughs> I wanted to get back into TV. So I knew uh, Wayne Robinson, who worked at Robertson, who worked at the station. So I came over at night and made an audition tape with Wayne. And uh, it just so happened that Frank Imes saw it, and he called me at home and asked me if I wanted to come over here and uh, do sports and midday with you. Well, two of the people that you heard Bill mention uh, during that conversation were former WCBI production manager and the first director for WCBI Sunrise, who is Wayne Robertson, along with the former owner of WCBI-TV, Frank Imes. Bill, here's what they have to say. Take a look. About Bill, he was a consummate professional, and every time he went out, you never had to worry about him getting the, getting the job done. He represented the station well, and he was, he was a great employee. Hey, Bill, congratulations on your retirement. I was happy to spend almost 17 years of my career with you, and I enjoyed all the time we had together at WCBI. Enjoy your retirement, relax, and have fun. Some really nice words coming back from the early days back in the uh, cow pasture, yes, right? Yes, it was, yeah. When you think back to those days to where we are now, what comes to mind? One thing that comes to mind is, is the late, great Pete Webb mm -hmm. hush, uh, rustling cows out of the parking lot I of remember. Car. I remember. I remember hearing about that. I wasn't around in those yeah, days. Yeah. Um, um, so today, this is the last day, you think back to the first day on the cow pasture, a little bit has changed, hasn't it? Oh, quite a bit has changed. <laughs> a lot has changed. Just the building itself, for one thing. Uh, that cow pasture, the winter times were brutal out there because no underpinning on the trailers, and that's what we were in with trailers, mm -hmm. and it was cold. You couldn't get your feet warm out there, but it's, it was it was a good start. Well, we've got a wonderful studio audience in here today, and we hope to see some of them a little bit later. We'll stay with us. More memories with Bill. We'll be right back. We did another Christmas play together, and they gave us a check, which we <laughs> politely tried to refuse. And then uh, we get back to the station, and it was a twenty-five-dollar check for us to split. We split twelve yeah. fifty yeah. for being the grand marshals. And then the town <laughs> called us the next Monday and said they made a mistake and asked for the money back. <laughs> <laughs> that money was for the judges. Yes, not for us. <laughs> yeah, uh, you think they just bite that bullet, but nope, they wanted their money back. Mm. Alert forecast with meteorologist Alex Puckett. Well, the clouds are sticking around as we head into the afternoon. Here's a view from downtown Columbus here top WCBI and our Alvin Shirt Sky Cam. Again, dealing with overcast skies. We might see one or two breaks in these clouds, but most spots going to stay cloudy as we go through the rest of the day. Temperatures sitting in the mid to upper 50s as we head into the afternoon. We'll see those numbers continue to climb. For the most part, uh, most spots going to be in the low 60s, but a few upper 50s in the Tupelo region. Once we get in the Golden Triangle, more low 60s on the board. West Alabama going to be in the upper 50s and lower 60s today as well. Futurecast shows rain returns as we head into Tuesday afternoon. We'll keep that rain chance on the board Tuesday night to Wednesday. Could see a couple of strong thunderstorms with this setup, but not anticipating any widespread severe weather with this. We dry out and at least temporarily on Thursday, but the rain returns to the forecast as we head towards the end of the week. So over the next seven days, a good rain chance tomorrow and Wednesday, drying out Thursday, and then another good rain chance as we head towards the end of the week. That does include Christmas Eve. Don't go anywhere. More midday with Andrea and the legendary Bill Gamble after this.
one time of some person that flew kites, if I remember correctly. I might have dreamed that, but... <laughs> you dreaming of Michelle? Is that what you're trying to say? Okay, let's get out of this, <laughs> let's get out of this conversation. Okay, right okay. Get back over here, Bill. Yeah. I'm out. You've always known how to kind of keep yourself out of trouble, yeah, huh? Yeah, <laughs> when we start talking about things that I don't want to get involved in, I'm, I'm done. Well, I tell you what, the word is out. Everybody kind of knows this is your last day. Um, some people way up north happen to know. Here's a special congratulations from CBS This Morning and Gail King. After nearly four decades of early mornings, turn off that alarm clock. Throw it out the window. We're talking to you, Bill. Congratulations on an outstanding career in broadcasting. Wishing you all the best. <laughs> That's Oprah's best gal, pal. You realize that, don't you? I guess Charlie Rose was tied up. <laughs> well, uh, here we go. See, I thought you knew how to stay out of trouble. <laughs> You've worked with a few meteorologists <laughs> yes, over your time. <laughs> this is what you call changing the subject. Here are some messages from some meteorologists over the years. <laughs> hey, Bill, it's your buddy, Brian Fowler. Remember, I worked with you, oh, man, twice during college. And then my second go around in TV when I came back and worked there uh, not too many years ago with you. Buddy, I loved it. My first job on air was with you doing midday and the morning show as well. Congratulations on your retirement. Hope you have many wonderful years ahead. Just laying back, enjoying yourself, taking your sweet time, doing whatever you want. Oh, wait, you did that already at WCBI. <laughs> Anyway, congratulations, buddy. Take care, and peace be with you. Hey, Bill Gamble, this is Wyatt Everard, and you know, up here in Baltimore, Maryland, we're hearing that you're retiring down there. That's right, unbelievable, a great career, and I remember during our days way back in the early 2000s on sunrise and sometimes on midday, that heavy uh, sort of broadcast voice, boy, you could deliver it with power, and I'm sure the viewers down there in Mississippi are going to miss hearing that voice every day, but congratulations on a retirement well earned. Bill Rich, words of care. Worked with you and Andrea yourself on Sunrise mid-2004 through mid-2006. Happy retirement. I heard that you are actually retiring this time. So I wanted to be sure that you knew just how much I enjoyed working with you for those two years on Sunrise and on Midday. I uh, had a lot of fun. Made it easier waking up at 2.30 knowing I would get to go to work and share a lot of laughs with you and the rest of the crew. In retirement, I hope that you never have to throw anything off the Edmund Pettus Bridge again. Hey Bill, it's been a few years. I want to wish you a happy retirement. I think uh, one of my favorite memories of when we worked together is when we would spar over me being a Gator fan and you being an Alabama fan. I think you got the, the best of me and, and most of those. And I'll do this one time, one and only for you, since you are retiring. Roll Tide! I know it killed him to do that. How many roll tide <laughs> messages have you gotten from folks who are not big Alabama fans over the last few, few days? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Few. Um, you look back and we think about all the meteorologists that have been through here. And a lot of those guys, of course, came from Mississippi State. And they came here ready. And they, yeah. they didn't stay long because they were so ready. That's right. There's a great meteorologist school out there. And it's, you bring them in here and get a little bit of training, they'd be on their way. Uh, I think you kept them on your toes. That got them ready uh, for those <laughs> next big markets. That's my job. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. All right, when we come back, former midday host Jeffrey Rupp, you know him? Uh, I think I've heard the name. I'll introduce sure. you. He's coming up yeah. with, some few, with a few surprises also. You're watching Midday on WCBI. Stay with us. We did another one where, uh, of course, we were sitting on the back of a, of a uh, convertible, and as soon as we sat down, we heard the glass window on the back window break. Brand new convertible, a dealer gave us, I forget who it was. And we said it was in Macon. We were, yep. we were grand marshals of the Macon Christmas parade, and we sat down on the convertible and busted the glass <laughs> and took it back to you. I don't know what happened. <laughs> well, hopefully, I saved the show, but uh, get a feeling I, I didn't save it till just now. <laughs> If I understand this correctly, we're getting some spritzing because of a commotion in the ocean. Is that right? Is that pretty much it? <laughs> and so that was the birth of, of the, uh, the great midday toy giveaway. That's right. And the toys would rotate, except for one toy that they, we got every single year. And it was? Uncle, Uncle Milton's, Milton's Ed Farm. So anytime a child or a parent would write in saying, send us a toy, well, but don't send an ant farm, what would we do? They got an ant farm. 
They got an ant farm. Mm. <laughs> Former midday host Jeffrey Rupp joins us. What was it about the ant farm people didn't want? Everything. I mean, I, mean, I, th I think a lot of them thought that the ants came somehow it wrapped in the box, and mm -hmm. they thought the ants would uh, would go everywhere, and mm -hmm. so they they just uh, they didn't they didn't want them. But it was such Apparently, a staple Peter on the show. That too. Yeah. Okay, give us a quick story about PETA. What happened there? <laughs> they, they didn't like the fact that we're giving the ant farm. They sent us a letter. They said it was cruel and it. yeah, cruel and unusual punishment to the ants. And so you know what we did? We sent them an ant farm. You sent PETA an ant farm. <laughs> we sent PETA an ant farm. <laughs> wow. Yes, <we> <laughs> <laughs> wow. It was Bill's idea, if you're watching, <laughs> with all his so ideas. So we're sitting there watching the piece um, with the dancing weather guy, and they come back to you, and Lots Bill says, I look like a 70s, <laughs> like a 70s porn, porn star. star. <laughs> <laughs> well, now he looks like an in his 70s porn star. <laughs> <laughs> so is that what you're planning after ah, retirement? <laughs> This is fun, goal, you know. <laughs> Jeffrey, Good luck with that. Gotta have a plan. <laughs> You've talked about this a little bit, Jeffrey. What made it work with you two? Because still today, when I see people out, they say, "Boy, we sure miss Jeffrey and Bill." All these years later. Well, and I guess you know, it's his final show, so we can say it. Basically, I I carried them. <laughs> really, I mean, Boy, back okay. He ain't heavy. He's Bill <laughs> Gamble. Yeah. No, it, what it was was uh, we didn't know each other when he started on midday, but. We became very close friends, friends very quickly, and, and live TV is about trust. It is. And, uh, man, you just always felt, after you really bombed me out on that first show, <laughs> uh, well, I just always felt no matter what happened, man, we were going to take care of it. Do together. you feel like when you come back together now, you can just pick, off where you, pick up where you left off? Oh, I do. Yeah. It's just like we never missed a beat. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's amazing. It doesn't matter. You just come on midday and you start again. But that's not fair to the other folks who work on the program now. Because we come in and we sort of hijack it and take it back you to do. the old You do. As a matter of fact, let me just grab this thing uh, yeah. back. Because There's no this <laughs> to this. You come in and hijack it. Well, during your days on Midday, you knew this guy as Cake Boy for yeah. years. Joe Dillon. Come on up here, Joe. He would show up on Friday and deliver cake. And where was I? Because I love cake. But he also brought a little happiness with him, and um, you need to crouch down. In addition to running your own business now, Joe, you are oh, wow. yeah, in the city of Columbus. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> but Joe, you're the public information officer yeah. for the city, so you've come with something very special. Yeah, Bill, we have a pro proclamation from Mayor Smith for you today, and I won't read the whole thing. I'll read the last paragraph. It says, "Now, therefore, because Bill Gamble is a solid news professional with the highest journalistic principles." whose kind voice, easy grin, and sharp wit will be sorely missed, be it resolved that I, Mayor Robert E. Smith, Sr., proclaim today, Monday, December 18th, as Bill Gamble Day in Columbus, Mississippi, wow. with all the rights and privileges therein. Wow. That's fantastic. That. Thank you very much, Mr. Mayor. You wrote that just the way I wrote it. Wow. <laughs> he delivered it well, didn't he? <laughs> All right, maybe, just maybe, he'll let me keep my job. <laughs> WCBI <laughs> General Manager Derek Rogers is here, and uh, I think you might have something special to say. In typical uh, WCBI fashion, you have to get your going away pick. <laughs> wow. <laughs> A little special pick here. Yes. Um, yeah, most of them don't have the picture like that. And in uh, the tra tradition set by Dennis Hudson, you have to hang this in your bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> <So>. <laughs> I don't know where else I'd want to hang it. <laughs> oh, you, you got, wow. You got it. Wow. Wow. Man. Man. That's, what we got to do. that's right. Well, the great uh, thing about this, nice. though, you've gotten great messages from our viewers Could, all week, but this is the staff with all their messages. Of, come on, you got to Our producer is like. saying, please turn it around so the rest <laughs> no, of the world can see it. How you hang it right here. <laughs> yeah. And there's several pictures here of you over the years with. Uh, wow. All of our friends here at WCBI. Alex Buckets at a Mount Singh Rose Hide. What was going on with the Imagine shades and the, uh, the the look on the right with the shades on there and you're screaming or something? What was that all about? I was probably mad at you or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, wow. I think that William, our sodium e social media producer, has a little something for you as well. Come on little, in, William. A little uh, roll time band All here. right. Wow. Gra let him uh, grab the mic so we can hear William. Oh, yeah. We've got All right. some, uh, a little happy for you from Coach Ray Perkins, legendary Coach Ray Perkins, signed football helmet and uh, autograph. Nice. There. Yeah. So wow. Thank you very much. And congrats Thank on you. the retirement. You've got a little room in your house where you kind of put stuff that's I kind do. of an ode to Alabama, huh? Yep, I do, yeah. 
All right, you can add that to the collection. Absolutely. All right. As you look back over the years, Derek, anything that really just sticks out uh, for you about this guy? I mean, there are well, a lot of great stories. It's interesting because, you know, Bill's been here as long as I've been here. Uh -huh. And so when I first got back uh, three years ago, I said, don't retire. <laughs> and I, I, we've done this for three different years. Yeah. And yeah. this time we knew this was, this was going to be it. But, you know, you were the longest tenured on-air personality in WCBI's history. Yeah. Wow. wow. And in fact, I'm probably the last one that can say that I've been on the air half the time that the station Exactly. Been on the air. And right. You can you break know, that record if you stay till you're 75 or so. Well, I don't know if well, I'll make it. As long as I'm here, you're here. But, uh, <laughs> you know, you can never be replaced, well, and you. you're always family, and we love you dearly. I appreciate that. Absolutely. We're going to take a little trip down memory lane here in a moment, and then we're going to give you the last words. But before you have the last words, I have to say to you also that you have been more than a mentor to me. When I started out, I was so afraid, and I was so starstruck to be sitting next to the legendary Bill Gamble. But mm -hmm. you taught me so much uh, about not so much how to be a broadcaster, but just how to be myself. Be yourself. That's all you have to do. On TV, and um, it has been quite a ride, but more than being my mentor, you have been a friend to me. Well, so. you're the true professional, and you are absolutely more than a more than a coworker. You're you're a dear friend. So I can still bring my baby by and get special candy absolutely. on Halloween. On Halloween yes. <laughs> I or was telling I was telling you earlier, my social media page has gotten has not had this much activity after I posted about you since I had my daughter <laughs> <laughs> eight years ago. So the people love me. I, Jeffrey, was there something you would like to say? <laughs> yeah. So unbeknownst to you, we. have We've let your fans know you're retiring, and so for the last two months, you know, literally thousands and thousands of your people have been sending us donations to get you a, a gift that is fitting if someone's been on the air for 40 years, right? Mm -hmm. And no, 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 we got our we've sponsors. Got, you've got we've 15 got seconds to give it to them. Well, anyway, we were thinking, should we buy him a car? Should we pay off his house? You we have thought, to no. Open it. Hurry up. This is what yeah. we ended up getting. <laughs> Uncle Milton's Yay! <laughs> Gold-plated ants. This is a high-end <laughs> ant farm. <laughs> you open up Major the ant farm. Major exhibition We're season good. is in full swing. One of the teams, I have a craving for raid all of a sudden. No, rather. Horse racing has been known as the sport of kings. But in Calgary, there is a plant. He likes to move a little faster. <laughs> Terry Bowen has more. <laughs> Then along came Sunrise. You were the one that sort of held it all together on, on air. What was that like? It, I enjoyed it. A girl named Charlotte Steagle and I were the two original anchors on the show. What would you do if I sang out of tune? All right, little test. Yep. I'm going to see if you can remember the names of all of your co-hosts. Oh, <laughs> I wouldn't even try. Well, it's a long list. For someone to have lasted, literally, I mean, decades, one market is pretty remarkable. So looking back now, what, what's your take on it? I just never had any desire to leave. You know, it's, an, it's an old cliche, and I hate to say it, but the old thing about it, if I can put a smile on one person's face every day, that's worth everything. It means the world to me. I'm going to take them home with Yeah. Very nice. You get the last words. Uh, I just want to thank, I mean, too many people to thank. I want to thank all of you guys, of course. I mean, you're, you're all dear friends to me and, and, and more than co-workers. And, uh, I want to thank mo uh, most of all the uh, viewers who 
allowed me into their homes for the past 31 years it's, and been so kind to me over the years to meet me on the streets and, and restaurants and come up and want to talk and shake my hand and all that. And, and I thank you all very much. And that being said, take care. God bless. So long, everybody.